Hey guys, it's Vicki, and today I'm here to share with you my reading plans for the month of May. Um, I have some pretty good plans for the month. I am taking part in a readathon the first week of May, and then I have some other books uh, planned for the rest of the month, so I'm going to go ahead and just dive in and share those with you now. So the first week of the month, I am taking part in the half a ween a thon readathon. Um, I took part in it last year, and it was really fun. And basically, it is a readathon to get excited that we are halfway to Halloween. So the whole idea is to read horror, creepy, spooky books um, in the spirit of Halloween. Um, it is hosted by some wonderful ladies. We have Megan and Sue over at the Spinebreakers. We have Alex from Hey Little Thrifter. Carol from Carol Marie Reads and Stephanie from That's What She Read. Wonderful, wonderful booktubers whom I really enjoy and they are definitely um, the girls to be subscribing to if you're interested in horror. Um, yes, so the uh, readathon has seven challenges, six that are book related, and I have chose two books that are going to fulfill four challenges um, because I just no, I'm not going to be able to read six books in a week. Um, two is definitely more my speed. So yes. So the first book that I'm going to read for the readathon is I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. And this is going to fulfill three challenges for me. Um, the first one is that it's going to be, um, it's going to fulfill the challenge to read a book that has been adapted into a film and watch that film. So I'm going to go ahead and watch the Will Smith adaptation or the adaptation that is starring Will Smith because I... I feel like I've seen it before, but then I don't really remember it. The only thing I remember about it was that he had a German Shepherd as his, like, companion. And, yeah, I remember that. I remember the dog, of course. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that as part of the challenge. And then the other challenge it's going to fulfill is to read um, from a master of horror. Richard Matheson is a renowned sci-fi horror writer, so I figured he fits the bill there. And then this particular edition has um, I Am Legend, which is only like a hundred and some odd pages, 150 pages, I think. And then the rest of the book are short stories by Richard Matheson. So um, this is going to fulfill the challenge to read horror story, um, a, a book that is not a novel. So like a graphic novel, short story collection, poetry, such type of things. And so this is, since this is a has some short stories in it, I figured that would fit the challenge as well. So yeah, I'm going to knock out three challenges with one book. That's pretty awesome. Love that. And then the next book I'm going to read for half a week -a is The Chalk Man by CJ Tudor. Um, this was a really big thriller last year, and it's a quick one. It's under 300 pages, and I've heard that it's really good. It has a lot of it vibes, which I'm all for because I love it. It's one of my favorite books of all time. So um, I don't think I really need to go into the synopsis of this. <laughs> I think everybody knows what this one's about, but, um, this is going to fulfill the challenge to read a book that was published in the last five years, because it was published in 2018, I believe. Early 2018, I'm going to fulfill one challenge with this one, maybe two, because one of the other challenges is to read a book that takes place in the fall, and I'm not sure if this one does or not. I'm kind of hoping it does. I don't think I Am Legend does, because the very first page of I Am Legend says that it's January 1976, I think. So yeah, that doesn't work. But if this takes place in the fall, I will knock out two challenges with this one. So the other challenges that I won't be fulfilling <laughs> for the readathon, but in case you were interested in knowing what they were, um, is to read a book by an indie author um, to, oh, I think that's it. Because they are to read a book that's been adapted into a movie, watch the movie, read a book by an indie author, read a book by Master of Horror, read a book set in the autumn, um, read something that is not a typical novel, such as a graphic novel, anthology, etc. Um, read a book within the last five years. And then the seventh challenge is to dress up in a half ass costume and either like take a picture, post it on Instagram, or, you know, dress up in, in their costume for your wrap up of the readathon or for whatever you want to do. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to fulfill that challenge or not. I may try it. We'll see. No promises, though. But this sounds like a really fun readathon, and I'm really excited to take part in it. Okay, so for the rest of the month, I'm going to have four more books planned, one of which is a chunker. So 
we'll see how the month goes. But the first book that I'm going to read after the readathon is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Um, I'm waiting to get this one, uh, the ebook, from the library, so I don't have a physical copy right now. But it is a young adult book that we are reading for book club because the movie comes out in mid-May. I know absolutely nothing about this except that it's YA, and I think that it has a romance in it. I don't know anything else about it. I didn't bother to read the synopsis. Um, so yeah, I'm going to read it for my book club and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Next up, I'm planning to read The Chunker for the for the month. Um, I have been, it seems like I have been reading at least one chunky book a month. I have not been doing it on purpose, it's just been working out that way. So this month's chunky book is Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. This is a 560 page book. I did not realize that when I purchased it and decided to read it. But this is another one that I'm reading for my book club because we do um, monthly reads and then we also do quarterly reads. So, um, you know, every three months we do a book that we wouldn't necessarily um, read for the purpose of the book club, which is like usually we read books that have been adapted into films or TV shows. Um, although this one does have an adaptation, we um, we chose it because we just wanted to read it. We try to read kind of different books or maybe longer books for the quarterly challenges. Hence, we picked a chunky book. Um, I have only read The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, so I'm really excited to dive into this one. It is um, a fictional tale, a fictional tale that is based on a true story, though, about a woman who is um imprisoned for murdering her employer and his housekeeper i want to say and she um has no recollection of the murder and like won't talk about it because she doesn't remember it and that's all i know um but it sounds really good um and i really love this cover i think it's really cool so yeah i think it's going to be a good book i'm excited to dive in Next up, I'm planning to read, and you guys might know this, you got a little bit of a spoiler if you watched my book haul revisit, but I'm planning to read Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler. This was the book that I chose from that book haul revisit that I was going to add to this month's TBR. Um, this is a dystopian book about a girl who is on, she's on some sort of like road trip. I don't want to say road trip, but she's, it's a post-apocalyptic book where the area that she's living in is extremely dangerous, I believe, and she's trying to kind of make her way to another area, if I remember right. I'm not really sure, but I've heard great things about this book, um, and I've heard great things about Octavia Butler, and I've never read her, so I'm really looking forward to giving her a try. Um, I don't know. I think I'll like it. And then the last book that I'm planning to read for the month is going to be, I think, a really fun one, just a carefree kind of just fun book, and that is I Mom So Hard by Kristen Hensley and Jen Smedley. Um, these two uh, I'm a huge fan of. I watch their videos all the time, like on Facebook and Instagram. Um, they're just two moms talking about being moms, and they're really funny, and I really enjoy them, and I'm actually going to see them live in July. So when I heard that they had a book out, I had to pick it up because I just think it's going to be really fun. Um, they seem really down to earth and just like real. And so I think this is going to be a fun book to read, especially around Mother's Day. Um, with Mother's Day being in May, this will be a good time to read a book about moms for moms. I just think it'll be fun. All right, guys, so those are my reading plans for May. Please let me know down below what you are planning to read in the month of May, or if you're planning to take part in half a -a thon I would love to hear what you're planning to read, um, what challenges you're hoping to fulfill. It's going to be a good time. Um, and, yeah, let me know if you've read any of these books. And, of course, let me know what you're going to read, because I want to know. So, yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope that you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.